so we were like discussing yesterday that planning uh, in order to achieve superior performance of course planning uh, a better plan can give you a very superior performance what you desire so we do any activity for a very good performance is it, is it, it so so like the directors who promise their shareholders that they'll make the organization profitable as well as they uh, like they will uh, make sure that shareholders uh, like uh, like uh, the share value increases or like their net worth should increase or uh, like their uh, they should get good returns uh, the board of directors they make strategies they make plans long term and short term and accordingly they want the organization to run so that whatever they have promised can be achieved okay despite of challenges of course every business faces lot of challenges we are going to study what challenges business face and uh, uh, like how the, how like what the companies do to overcome that and uh, they uh, they deliver very good performance okay so here there's a note shareholder value is nothing but the returns so you can see here total shareholder return is what so total shareholder return is suppose you bought a share for 100 dollars today it has become 150 dollars so this is like p not this is p1 and the company is also uh, so what is your uh, like uh, return from this you will say my return is 150 minus 100 by 100 which i invested that is 50 by 100 and my return is 50% not like that it is not the right answer this is just the capital gain or this is the increase in the share value but you may also get dividends from the company and that dividend is also your return which is a part of profit okay so suppose company is giving you dividend of 10 dollars so your total shareholder return would be uh, would be divided into two parts one is uh, like uh, the growth in the share price which is nothing but from 100 it has become 150 and also the dividend yield which is nothing but dividend per share by market price per share and the market price when when you invested the market price was 100 okay so 10 by 100 that is uh, like 10 by 100 if you see 1 by 10 that is 0.10 and here uh, like uh, 50 by 100 that is 0.50 okay 0.50 plus 0.10 is 0.60 or 60% so i divided this into two components instead of this you can do one thing p1 minus p0 plus d whole p0 direct formula So 150 minus 100 plus 10 whole divided by 100 would also give you 60 percent. Okay, that's it. So to achieve this, company has to make strategies. Company has to make plans. The board of directors should make some good strategies, and uh, those strategies should be shared with their executives, like the CEO and CFO. And they, those guys should under them. There are many. There are many managers working, financial manager or some other managers working, and those strategies. those managers should implement on the organization for very good results okay so what do you mean by competitive advantage see competitive advantage is what better you have than your competitors so you may have very good high skilled personals you may be in a very good geographic location you may be in a uh, market where there are less uh, barriers to entry or even though there are high barriers to entry you may your product may have something unique in uh, there may be something unique in your product which is driving the customer towards you you may be someone who may be selling at low prices or like less margin uh, whereby you can afford it or you, your cost of production is very less so that you can afford to sell at less uh, price so there are many uh, like factors which can give you competitive advantage okay and competitive advantage can lead to better uh, like more profits Uh, and uh, like uh, so that's what a company that has competitive advantage will usually be more profitable than the companies it competes with of course because you have everything superior and you can achieve the economies of scale yesterday i have discussed i have just uttered this word called 
economies of scale so what is that economies of scale madam uh, yesterday i asked you one question hopefully you have done some research maybe today in today's class hello no sir no uh -huh. i expected that but really because yesterday we uh, i discussed this word no i forget that one sir okay so econo yeah no no worries i'll just say yes so like sometimes uh, like uh, what happens in companies if you see some very good companies uh, they uh, like earn very high profits okay and uh, that is because uh, they they have they are very successful in achieving the economies of scale that is with very sophisticated technology what they have they have the latest technology it seems which no one has it seems and they have very high skilled personals and uh, they have uh, like better technology better uh, high skilled personals and uh, exp uh, experienced skill is different and experienced is different experienced professionals and a very good geographic location and then they have this uh, uh, like uh, less uh, like finance cost so all these factors definitely can give a company a very good advantage when compared to their competitors because economies of scale is achieved with very uh, with 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 passage of time uh, not not when the company has started the business at inception it is very tough to achieve all this it's only possible to achieve all this when company is in that business since long time then they have good technology good skilled personals experienced people less wastage there are many factors you can say which can help the company to achieve the economies of scale okay so uh, uh, like so with this companies can achieve good profits and the profitability and profit growth for any individual company are determined by two things its success related to other firms in its same industry like maruti suzuki has many competitors in car industry the uh, car is a final product of automobile industry but you see maruti suzuki's revenues are very high there because there are many factors which they are experts in you take any other company's car and you will be having one one uh, like uh, issue always about the servicing cost or like uh, you will be struggling with better services which you will not be getting with that company because it's not easy for them to give you service because they have less idea of indian market but maruti suzuki is since 30 40 since 30 years they are in indian market they are the oldest players in indian market so you know they also are into innovation they always try to do new things and bring new things in their product so uh, they have better success than their other peers or their competitors in the same industry and the overall performance is very good actually for maruti suzuki so I'll, i always take the name of this company and also internal factors and as well as external factors affect a company's performance really yes there are a lot of uh, these are important points because internal factors are all this external factors like uh, if i say this is internal factor internal factor internal factor but this is external factor geographical location and political factors if you are in a country whereby there is no political issue or there is no political unrest like if i say north korea i am asking a question do you want to start a business in north korea this country do, uh, anyone ever in the world would like to go to north korea and invest their money in this country i am asking a question anyone can answer no sir but why but why there is a there is trade restriction and it's a dictatorship so this is a this is the most horrible and dangerous country in the world when it comes to their own citizens forget about foreign investments their own citizens are always in this trauma and uh, because of the dictator kim jong un and it's very dangerous uh like nation whereby no one wants to go because of political unrest and or uh, communism and a lot of factors okay so uh, this uh, these are important factors to be considered okay 
so there is a note given strategic plans are long term usually for a period of 5 years or more so if company makes a strategy uh, they make short term plans as well as long term plans when when we say about long term uh, short term plans they want to enhance their revenue they want to increase their profits is a short term but they want to acquire some other company they want to uh, replace their machinery these are all long term plans okay so for them uh, for that's called as strategic plan what can be the role of management in attaining profitable growth of course management can play very good role in attaining the growth because they work hard for that they emphasize on that only correct because they plan and they do all their activities with the plan so that can have that can give them better control over uh, like the activities what they are performing correct so it is who can achieve that the management can only put all the efforts to achieve that because they put they keep all the things under control with better planning types of plan and general principles so strategic plans are long term plans as discussed right now and i've given some examples also right now in which the entire management would be involved all the engineers staff employees and everyone or the plan would be shared with them okay and the circumstances and everything and the company's limitations everything would be shared with them and in that they need to achieve something for for a for a uh, future uh, something for the future but not in a short span of time definitely those things would not be attainable in short uh, span of time if company wants to acquire some other company some rival company can you think a company can acquire a rival company in a short span of time never they would require some 5 to 10 years to do that because they need to be a consistent performer for that reason correct so strategic plans are for long term replacement of a machinery definitely will be using some machinery for 5 to 10 years then we will be replacing it with a new technology uh, new technological technologically advanced machinery so all these things are for long term and for that long term plans are required and as well as in every plan internal and external factors should be considered they are a part of plan okay and then uh, like uh, internal factors and external factors we have already discussed right now internal factors are uh, like only related to the intern only related internally to the man internally to the management like uh, like i have already explained you good technology and uh, like high skill labor experience uh, uh, like labor all this is internal but if i speak about external factors environmental issues international competition domestic competition gdp of a nation gnp of a nation uh, political factors economic factors all these things are nothing but external factors okay so part of strategic plan will be a review of capacity and capital resources of the company yes see it is not only uh, that you are planning everything but you should be capable of doing the things also okay you should have that capacity and ability to do uh, like that to perform the tasks see capacity what do you mean by capacity or capability what is attainable for you what is attainable for you or what you are capable of doing so you should not make such plans which are unattainable if i ask some of uh, some some xyz to swim from mumbai to dubai through arabian sea it is impossible it is not attainable but what is attainable if i say them that can be achieved correct so so capacity is the ability of a company to produce its product or services capital resources are the company's fixed assets of course in long term company will not uh, will need to make certain its capacity will be able to meet the expected demand yeah that's what they what they can achieve it what is attainable for them they have to they have to uh, like uh, they have to include in their strategies correct so the firm may either purchase so what is capital budgeting any idea see if company wants to invest in some project suppose there is company abc corporation and they want to uh, start a ev manufacturing they have two options one is the four, one is the one is like telangana government has given them a uh, like slot in zahirabad uh, you may be knowing if you are uh, if you read newspapers or you see news zahirabad has become a very good uh, cluster for ev manufacturing triton company from us has acquired a very big land and they they are ready to invest 2000 crores in the first uh, stage of their ev manufacturing in uh, zahirabad telangana that's become a special economic zone if you want you can just check it, google it out okay and there is the uh, the ford plant which is in chennai which you know ford company has stopped their production in india because not the indian market is not 
feasible for them or it's not profitable for them it seems so that plant which is like the company can take it for lease or buy or they can opt for this now which one is profitable for them they have to know that for that they have various methods in uh, of capital budgeting uh, both of you like uh, smriti you uh, have attended those classes and madam i have already shared videos with you for them and you know that i'm speaking about payback period method i'm speaking speaking about npv method irr method with these methods yeah with these yeah with these methods you can easily decide whether project a is better than project b or not here the project is about the about deciding the geographical location so npv method can be a superior method to guide you okay that's what they can do and by taking all of this information into account the company is in a position to make long term business plans yes because see they cannot risk themselves after investing in the business they cannot see whether it's profitable or not before investing they should know which is a better uh, option for them and they should finalize so that nothing the, the wastage would not happen not wastage of resource wastage of time wastage of money nothing should happen okay so strategic planning is directional rather than operational so it can give good direction to the company to work to look forward and work on that then comes immediate and short term plans these are like for very short span of time to improve revenues to increase profits okay to achieve there, there are some goals which they want to achieve in a in 6 months or 1 year so for that they make short term or operational plans so short term or operational plans are primary basis of budgets yeah everywhere budget comes into picture so budget is budget itself is nothing but a financial plan you write everything uh, like how much you are going to spend on something and then you have a budget or estimate of your spendings and then ac accordingly you start your spending and then you tally with your budget if you are able to if in actuality whatever you have spent is less than what you budgeted then well and good if not then something you sh you should definitely introspect you should definitely again like see that uh, what corrections can be done so that you can achieve what you wanted in your budget to achieve okay so capital there are many budgets what companies make cash budget you are going to learn that in like uh, in the coming chapters Ma raw material budget many budgets see if i name them there are many budgets overheads budget okay and uh, like labor budget like wages and all what they pay and there are many many budgets they make sales budget purchase budget so there are many ones okay yeah other types of plans single purpose plans which are developed for a specific item such as construction fix asset the development of new or implementation of new accounting system so this is single purpose plan okay so these are only for some specific thing this word is very crucial whenever you are going to solve mcq questions for for everything what we are discussing Uh, if you it's very so specific item for any specific item you make a budget or develop some budget then it's like single purpose plan these are also incorporated into the operating and financial budgets during the relevant years so the years in which you have set some target you want to achieve something standing purpose plans have relevance and use for many different items plans such as marketing and operational plans are standing purpose plans which are nothing but which should continuously happen contingency planning is simple future in future there may be certain events which may happen which may be uncertain definitely in future some uncertain events may happen and those events can have an impact on your business to overcome uh, like any kind of uh, like uh, adversity on your business because of some uncertain events in the future you may develop you may keep some reserves so that you can utilize that when there is some adversity on your company okay so that you can immediately react on whatever is happening because you already have allocated resources or something uh, as a contingency plan for your future seeing the uncertainties okay because covid 19 who am i see this is this questions are Would you do that, or you want me to explain? 
Hello. We will try, sir. We will try, sir. Okay. okay. Strategic planning process. So there are some five uh, points in this five steps. First and foremost is defining the company's mission. So what do you mean by mission? Why you are existing? So being a student, what is your mission to crack this exam? In future, when you crack this exam, then what will be your mission to serve uh, either to serve a society by being a consultant or doing a job in an organization? Then comes the vision where you want to see after five years or 10 years. That is vision. OK, so there are many companies which work with some mission, some examples. You can take some examples are given in our book also. Whenever you go to a McDonald's outlet, what do you see in McDonald's outlet? Now don't say, sir, we see the burger and what, what kind of question you're asking to us. We see burger, we see French fries, we see uh, like cold drinks and all. This is a strange question. No, I'm, I'm putting a very relevant question in front of you. You see some particular seat outside the McDonald's outlet and some a puppet kind of uh, like some guy who sits on that and he smiles always. Am I right? A smiley kind of. Yes, Did you sir. ever notice? Yes, sir. If you have ever gone to a McDonald's uh, outlet, yes. The mission is they want to serve every meal with smile. You can read their mission, vision or documents. So vision is where you want to see India also like uh, vision 2020, vision 2050, vision 2030. Like many countries, they make a lot of visions where they want to see themselves. Excuse me. Just a second. So then where you want to see and what are what are the values <clears throat> you have actually okay uh, and the goals like you know a football game of 90 minutes you see all the players here and there here and there just looking to achieve that goal okay to win so if you don't achieve your goal from whatever efforts you are putting then you are not a winner so here to win you need to achieve you need to definitely meet your goals if you want to write the exam you have to study then if you don't uh, crack the exam then your goal is not fulfilled so have a goal in your life accordingly every organization has goals in their life in their in the in their uh, like lifespan uh, like of their functioning and working so now define com <coughs> companies all these factors <coughs> analyzing the external competitive environment like uh, whatever the opportunities and threats they have i'm speaking about swot analysis so SWOT is nothing but strength, weakness, opportunity, threat. So what is your strength? You know, what is your weakness? You know, so whatever your strength is, enhance it. Whatever your weakness is, reduce it. Whatever opportunities you get, grab it. Whatever threats you have, eliminate it. Okay, so that's what you should do with SWOT analysis. That, will, that can be your decision. So then you should read your external environment and see what are the opportunities and threats you have. Then you should also analyze and study your internal and inter, internal environment. Internally things should be should be intact. Externally things should be intact. OK, so internal operating environment there you do the SWOT analysis for external environment. See what happens in internally. See internally what you do, you see your strength and your weakness. Externally you get opportunities and you have threats. So in SWOT analysis you are covering everything when you're doing this. OK and then developing and implementing the chosen strategies. So here there is like what I explained to you uh, like uh, briefly, I think not briefly uh, in a very short way. 
uh, they are briefing things to you. So mission statement, what is the reason to be vision where you want to see uh, values, goals. So I've explained you all this and the mission can be like, for example, uh, like a company's mission is what the company does. In writing the mission statement, management should ask itself, what is our business? What will it be? What should it be? In answering the questions, management should think in terms of customer. What customer groups are being served? What they need and by what means they can serve their customers? Then the answer should be customer centered rather than product centered. OK, when they are when their focus is not on customers. In other words, company should be in business not to sell widgets, but to satisfy its customers. So see, selling the goods at any cost is not the motive. What the motive is with your product, you should be able to satisfy your customers. OK. So for instance, this company is not in business to sell study materials for CMA exam, the metal which we are using. So their their motive is not to push their material and sell it in the market aggressively. Rather, what their motive is to help professionals advance in their careers and in their earning capacity by getting certified or giving them what knowledge they require. OK, so this company is applying a particular skill, the ability to teach in order to satisfy a particular need. So the company is applying a skill that is ability to teach. Satisfy whom the students and for a particular group of people that is a pro financial professionals. OK, they want you to get certified and become a finance professional for that. They have given this material to you. Some other example is given. Uh, Mark company, a pharmaceutical company says in its mission statement, our business is preserving and improving human life. That's what they're working for. OK. Then vision. So many companies have their vision. For example, DuPont. DuPont is a uh, company. OK, and their mission statement says our vision is to be world's most dynamic science company creating sustainable solutions essential to a better safer and healthier life for people everywhere so they want to become uh, they are, they want to become or they want to be world's most dynamic science company okay they are into innovation and all and they want to give sustainable solutions that means they want uh, they don't they want the resources to be uh, like uh, uh, to be used in such a way that things are left over for the future generations and they want every, uh, like with their products people should have safety and they want they want to uh, see people in like uh, to have very healthy life everywhere in the world okay the statement of companies values like what values they have what is their organizational culture how they work how how they have been working it's so it should not be like the company should not be like talk the talk but they should be like walk the walk that means they should not not be into talking, but they should also be in performance. So that that's what says that they should always look for good performance. Then goals like what goals they want to achieve and goals should be precise and should be measurable. They shouldn't make such goals which are which shouldn't be attainable for them. For example, a company goal to become financially stronger is ambiguous. Ambiguous in the sense it's a it's a statement which is which which requires some clarity, it seems and could lead to different decisions depending on how it is interpreted and how a person understands it as an objective. They want to be financially stronger. So the goal should be more specific. For example, reduce debt by some dollars or increase cash users by by dollars are both specific and not open to open for interpretation. So here you can interpret anything. They want to become financially stronger is what 10 people can have 10 opinions, but when they are specific, you have only one opinion, single opinion and you really understand what they mean. OK? So ambiguous statements are, uh, should not be there. Additionally, goals, goals should be communicated to all individuals who will be impacted by them. Yes. So primary goal of most companies is to maximize shareholder returns. Maximizing shareholder returns is achieved through high profitability and sustained profit growth. And current profits may not be that good, but in future they should deliver. Long term profitability is, should be seen. Uh, should be seen. OK. Goals and objectives. See, goals are what they want to achieve. Objectives. Uh, these are like interchangeably. These are used interchangeably. OK. Excuse me. Someone is calling just a second.
yeah so uh, yeah the, so what what we're discussing is like these two words are interchangeably used okay uh, generally a corporate goal is measurable future state that company wants to achieve goals should be measurable now what they want to achieve objectives are the series of steps taken to attain the goal so goal is what they want to achieve objectives are objectives are with what they can achieve the goal goal want objective means so goal is nothing but the want they want to goal is nothing but they want to achieve something objectives are with the means with which they can achieve something okay planning is process that enables a company to achieve its goals and objectives so planning is something they frame and they make objectives with which they can achieve the goal very easily then i am speaking about three things with which i will just wind up the chapter so that i can start the next one tomorrow i am speaking i am i am just using this word in front of you which is called triple e i am not using rrr triple r okay triple r is something which you have seen in movies but triple e is something which you are seeing here now what is this triple e see i will give the best example don't you think maruti suzuki cars are economical you can get for less cost yes or no answer in chorus come on if you can listen my voice uh, hear my voice you can say yeah. maruti suzuki cars are very economical if you see the life cycle cost life cycle cost is a broader term actually it 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 starts from buying the vehicle till you sell so you buy at some price there you pay less price to buy maruti cars plus they give you very good mileage so they are very fuel efficient so triply in that triply these two are achieved you buy at less price they give you very good mileage and save cost for you there they are economical and efficient then the service cost is very less always then sales service is every time available for you that is effectiveness it's very effective car why because you get service once really speaking i was stuck in banjara hills i was driving my cars and night 839 my car like uh, you know sometimes when you insert that key of the like start and start and stop key uh some sometimes due to some issue like it stopped they said like battery is not charged or something like that and i was not able to open my i was not able to uh, start my car i immediately called mathu ji guys and within 20 minutes i got their service you know 20 minutes they rushed there on spot they have made all the efforts to on it and and i i comfortably came home and that kind of service i don't think i can expect from some other cars i can expect maybe in a delay of 15 20 minutes because of the broader network they have understood fact okay so very effective and see when you drive a maruti car like it's it can be a maruti 800 it's not less in luxury anywhere you get very good ac which you can get in mercedes benz also you get very comfortable right you know there will be no sound at all such refined engine and thirdly uh, the car is like giving you luxury on par with a very good luxurious car even so it has all the factors and all the prerequisites to say that it is a very good it can be a very good example for this triple it is economical efficient and very effective when you drive it you find it very comfortable and you find it very effective and very satisfactory okay with this i conclude the chapter so tomorrow we'll start this chapter called analyzing the external environment just a second i'm seeing whether it's a new chapter because in new books that's a new chapter okay that's a new chapter so let's start that tomorrow and tomorrow we can wind up the second chapter also then we can go for just a second
just wait third chapter okay fine sure thank you you want to continue or shall I, shall we like hello hello uh yeah shall we continue or like start new topic tomorrow madam afresh sorry as you wish no what i'm saying is new topic in a fresh day would be better okay okay, okay. okay. tomorrow we'll take the class from 5:30 to 6:30 a complete one hour session and i'll wind up this chapter let me just check it out in the contents page where are we right now so we can get a very good idea because it's a new topic so i wanted to start in a new day uh, we are in this strategic planning i think this is what is the page number we are seeing right, right now madam uh, can you tell me the page number 198 uh, 198 okay then we are done with this unit this unit is done 198 na so yeah. we will start a new chapter tomorrow budgeting concepts okay okay sir. oh okay thank you